Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to do the month of May reading for the Zodiac sign of Virgo. If you're new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are one of my returning viewers, watchers, or subscribers, welcome, welcome back. I'm sending you so much love and light. If you are a cross watcher, come on in. You're always welcome to join us. I'm sending you so much love and light and blessings as well. Okay, Virgo, if you're new to my channel, you may not know I am not big on signs. I like to focus on you. If your reading resonates, correlates with any of my other messages that I've done, I may refer you to watch those. But remember, you have free will. It's always up to you what you feel like doing. And always listen to God, listen to spirit, do what you feel is best. Your intuition is very important. That's your direct connection to spirit. But never, ever force a reading. If it's not for you, it's okay. Hopefully you can learn something or just enjoy it. You can always check out other readers, um, your other signs in your chart. And um, yeah, when it comes to Oracle cards and tarot cards, it's really all about the messages for me. I don't like to focus on the signs and I'm not that big on, you know, the genders. It's all about energy. Focus on the messages and the energy so you can take the message and insert yourself where you actually fit. OK, don't ever force it. You know, I, I can't stress that enough. So. You know, if I say emperor and that's your storyline and you go by empress, then that's that's fine. You could flip it and flop it and, you know, insert yourself where it fits. OK, I will use reversals for part two of your reading. There will be three parts. If you have watched, I believe it was Leo's reading. Who came in first, second and third? Aquarius came in first. Gemini came in second, Leo came in third. So if you watch their readings, they had four parts and that is because they got a lot more cards and messages for part three. And that's because they came in first, second, and third. That's one of my way of giving back when you guys have the most views. So I will be watching and that's just one of the ways I, I give back. But believe me, as my channel continue to grow, I will give back in various other ways. Okay, please remember to like, share, subscribe and comment. It keeps my channel going and growing. And as you already know, that is the goal. And I do appreciate all the sweet comments that you guys give me and um, all the views and the likes and the shares. Um, just know it really does make my day and I appreciate you so much, Virgo. All right. I am pausing any life coaching sessions and private readings at this time because I have some technical issues. So I will work them out and then hopefully I'll get back on track soon. Okay. I do have Cash App and PayPal at this time. I prefer if you want to donate and you're feeling generous enough, please go the PayPal route for right now. Cash App is, um, I'm having some issues with them. So interesting enough. But um, if you have donated to my channel energetically with a view, a like, a share, or have donated a cent to me, please know I am so grateful. I thank you very much. And um Anything that you guys put back into me, I'm going to put back into you, into this channel. So I appreciate you and I thank you. God bless each and every one of you. All right. A few announcements, Virgo. So great things are coming. If you've been watching my channel, then you know I have been talking about adding on to the channel. So expect near future extended. Expect new cards in the near future. Expect new decks from myself. And like I said, I've purchased some cards. So expect a lot more readings. Expect great things to come. I'm on it. I'm on the job. Promise you guys. All right. And I'll keep you posted on everything. So just stay tuned and um, don't miss anything because it could be special. All right. Let's begin your reading Virgo. We're going to start with part one from the conscious spirit Oracle card deck and all the decks are listed in the description box, including some of the new ones that I'm going to be using. Not all of them, but um, a lot of them. But anyways, from this deck, and I love the Conscious Spirit Oracle card deck, and I'm starting to see some other readers use them, and I think it's so cool. I even have notes that I took on this deck. It's that special and important to me. You guys have two cards that came out. I would recommend Googling Angels number 22 and 37. I'm going to read them both intuitively and with my notes, and I'm also going to read the cards specifically. So your lucky ducks. You guys have two cards, Virgo. So 22 is Archangel Gabriel. 37 is Crystal Ascension. Crystal Ascension keeps coming out for different readings. I can't even remember which one. I think it was for 
Aquarius, and I don't even want to guess the other one. I'm not sure. You guys will have to go back if you want to see. And I could be wrong, but it, it, I've seen this card come out for different readings that I've done. I took a break yesterday from readings because I had a DMV type of day. So that means I was stuck in there for a minute, but I got out everything that I needed. So all the hours are worth it. But anyways, I needed a break. So I'm back on track. But anyways, Crystal Ascension keeps coming out. The card says, I am attuned to the universal wisdom and energy of the crystal kingdom. I love it. And Archangel Gabriel says, I invite Archangel Gabriel to bring hope and intuition into my life. So like I said, I'm going to read these intuitively and together. I'm going to start with Crystal Ascension because it keeps coming out. Um, this card is about connecting to crystals. Both of them are about hope and inspiration and being connected to your intuition highly. So a lot of you are going to start to research and read about different and various crystals. Some of you already own them and you keep them in your purse or your pocket or um, at your desk at work, or some of you just have a whole shrine of them and they're like everywhere. This is awesome. I also keep a bowl of like minerals and crystals around. I don't even know what all of them mean, but I feel good about them. And I actually got mine. It's funny enough. I was gold panning like years ago and like Julian or something like that in California, somewhere up there, I was gold panning and, um, <laughs> we got to keep all the minerals and crystals that we found. So it was really cool. We had a whole bag of them. My family did. And, um, I put them in a fishbowl. And if you go back to like my introductory readings, when I actually introduced who I was like over a year ago now, I actually had that bowl up of crystals with me. So, <laughs> but anyways, I'm looking at them now. They're across the way from me, but you're going to keep crystals around you. They're going to give you a lot of strength and power. They're going to make you feel stronger, especially for days where you have presentations. Virgo, if you have something coming up and you've prayed on it, you've meditated on it, you can also pray and meditate with your crystals and keep them around around you for like good luck and things of that nature. But it's going to be important that you keep them around. I really love um, crystals and like diamonds and jewels and costume jewelry and real jewelry. I love it all. Um, but it's going to help you feel empowered. And it's going to connect you to spirit in a different way. So get ready to learn about them. Somebody may be gifting you some for like a birthday or a holiday or something like that. Or you may just find some. I've had somebody like literally at a post office, you know, just coming and going. And this person gave me these rocks and they were from India and they're heart rocks. I don't even know where I put them, but I got to find them. I used to keep them um, for some readings. I used to have them on my table, this very table. But um you just never know how you will come across them. Some of you will actually buy them online, like Amazon or something like that. Do what feels right for you, but don't be surprised if somebody gifts you some or you find some at a park or a lake or something like that, but keep them near you. They're really cool to have. Um, so yeah, keep them in your life. You know, it's like, remember, they come from the earth, so it connects to earth's natural energy, so it's going to help you to feel energized. You may wear them as a bracelet or necklace, anklet or toe ring or something like that, or just rings on your finger. They're very pretty too. So keep them in your home. Some of you I'm hearing may also have a waterfall in your home. That's really good to have her at work. It's going to bring you a lot of peace and tranquility, um, especially when you meditate and pray. You know, the spirit is always listening. So keep learning about them and um, you're going to feel yourself connect to your intuitive gifts and power. All right, so let's talk about Archangel number 22, Gabrielle. She is beautiful, stunning. She is going to help you to get back your hope. If some of you have lost hope in different things, love, friendships, yourself, um, you may not have a lot of direction at this time. She's going to help you restore that hope because she's going to help you tap into the gifts that you have overlooked, left behind, any gifts that you didn't know you had, anything that you were complimented about, but maybe didn't pursue, she's going to help you bring those gifts out into the open in the front. And some of these gifts may be writing, literature. It could be as simple as painting or coloring. Some It doesn't matter if you're 60 or 80. If you like to color, do it. Even if you just go to get a children's coloring book and you just like to color. If you like to do crossword puzzles or do um, anything that has to do with your hands and writing, 
she's going to help you bring out those gifts because they're going to make you happier. You know, I talk about me time a lot. Me time is not just a spa day or going to the beach or just hanging out by yourself and um, sleeping in all day. Of course, that's part of it. But me time is doing things that you love that just bring you peace, that just take your mind away from the mundane of everyday life or everyday work situations, especially if you work a eight to six or eight to five or nine to five or something like that. Whatever you're doing, you always need that time for yourself to reflect and to think and to also just unwind. So some of you will take up painting or will take up reading new books or writing a book or um, starting your own exercise classes or joining one, something like that. But I feel like she's going to bring that out. She's going to help you develop an appreciation for your gifts and your life. You're going to feel highly intuitive and optimistic, which is really good. Okay. So if hopelessness has settled in, she's going to bring it back. Okay. So get ready to insert a hobby into your life that you don't have, or you could be enhancing a hobby. Okay. Adding on to it. She's also great about helping you interpret your dreams. So call on Archangel Gabrielle. She's amazing for this. I don't know if you guys remember the show Xena, but there used to be this girl named Gabrielle. She's reminding me of her. It's interesting because I haven't seen that show in years. It's not even on anymore. But if you're from my generation and I just pretty much gave that away, you know who she is. So you may want to look that up and I don't know, watch those shows or maybe you're thinking about her. I am right now for some reason. It was a really good show. Um, and Xena was always my favorite too. But anyways, ask Gabrielle to help you interpret your dreams. Some of you may go to a dream interpreter. Write down your dreams. Maybe get a dream journal or dream diary so you can help understand what these messages are. Always put the date. Sometimes I'm bad at that. I forget to put the date. Put the date or at least the month so that you know when certain things happen. The month and the year, okay? So she's going to support you in fulfilling your dreams. So any goals that you have at this time, she's going to give you that push that you need. So when you're praying and you're talking to God in spirit, make sure you include Archangel Gabrielle specifically. All your angels, but especially her. She's coming through heavy right now. Her name means God is my strength. So for a lot of you who have lost your way, lost your strength, you are going to get it back. Believe it and know it. Okay. Virgo. Let's get to part two of your reading. This is where I will use the Chakra Wisdom Oracle Card deck seen here. Hope you guys can see it because the camera always looks dark and dim to me, even if it's in the daylight, um, even if I set the settings higher, but it looks dim to me. But sometimes when I push play and I go back to YouTube, it's actually brighter. So hope you guys can see it. But if not, please enjoy the messages um, and, and take them as they resonate. This is the deck I will read in reverse only if it comes out that way. Okay. Okay. Please spirit come through as you always do for the zodiac sign of Virgo for the month of May year 2021. Okay. I will use the formation of the Celtic cross. Oh, and I'm being reminded to let you guys know to celebrate your life. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Life is a gift. Always know that. All right. For Virgo spirit for the month of May year 2021. So the first card represents you and your present and current situation. The second card represents what's helping you, what's crossing you. The third card represents the best that you can expect from the situation. The fourth card is a question you may have and ask now or anytime up until I turn this card over. This is also a card of guidance. Could be your answer and guidance. Could be both. Take it how it resonates. The fifth card represents what's happening next or in your future. The sixth card represents what's in the past. It also could be a fear. The seventh card represents how you see yourself or the action you could take guided by spirit. The eighth card represents what's happening in your environment with family, friends, co-workers, relatives, neighbors, upstairs, downstairs, across the way, um, subordinates, superiors, close family, near and far, anybody around you. And also you could represent you too. Um, the ninth card represents hopes and or fears could be both. The 10th card represents the outcome of the spread. And I always start with the bottom, which is the overall message of the spread. You guys have guilt. Very interesting card to see. And even the way I cut these cards are very interesting. I cut them sideways. I noticed that. 
Okay, this could be you or somebody you know. Take it how it resonates for you. Somebody is feeling guilty about how they treated somebody. Leaving them on red, ghosting people, not talking to people, or not communicating effectively. Some people have gotten real complacent in how they communicate. One word answers or very little, taking 20, 30 minutes to answer something that should have taken taken five seconds. Um, some of you have been lied to and cheated on. Somebody toyed with your heart is what I'm hearing. Somebody feels guilty. Real guilty. Because I feel like, and what I'm hearing is you were like an angel. You did a lot of things right. You cook for this person. A lot of you clean for this person. You were full in. So I'm getting a romantic pull. So this was like a romantic interest for a lot of you. For some of you, this was a so-called friend. This was a family member who you thought loved you more and better than, than they showed. Um, so a lot of people are getting clarity in the month of May of who's who. Who's really down for you. Who's really ride or die. Who has your back through thick and thin and in between times. Who is real. And somebody feels heaviness on their heart because they're guilty for how they mistreated you. If this is you, you need to take responsibility for your part and your actions. I'm getting a lot of inappropriate things happened here to somebody. And somebody's feeling really down. They've lost hope in humanity. They've lost hope in like family. Oh my goodness. This is heavy. I see why Archangel Gabriel came through because you are a beautiful soul. You're a beautiful spirit and she's not about to let you be crushed. Yes. Somebody stepped on your heart. They shattered it, but you are not staying down Virgo. You're not meant to stay down. They broke your heart, but you as a whole is not broken. Let them feel their guilt. Because I'm here and they were degrading. I don't even like this energy at all. Um, but I'm feeling the power of you. Like you don't even know your own strength yet. You're about to find out what that is. I realize I totally forgot to put my phone on airplane mode. I hope I'm not interrupted. I guess we'll see. <laughs> but anyways, moving on. Virgo. Impasse in reverse. I love that this is in reverse because some of them have changed. Some of them want to do better. They're going to have to hear you specifically tell them what you need. And this is for those who are giving a romantic interest another chance. For a lot of you, you're not going back to this at all. If somebody was physically abusive, or they crossed your boundaries. This is a no. This is a no go. But for those, but of course you have free will. Always listen to God first and yourself. Always. I can't stress that enough. For those of you who do want to give somebody a chance because you feel like they have changed or they've showed positive change, significant change behavior. Remember, you have free will. It's up to you. Do what you feel is best. I'm here to put your safety first, though. Um, some of them have changed and they want to prove it to you. So I feel like they're going to come back around. Some of them begging. Some of them might be on their knees because a lot of secrets came out. But I feel like there's still conversations that need to be had so that because there's there's still it's like when you start asking questions, you want to know more and more. So for you, they're going to have to answer everything. No matter when it comes out, if it comes out in a week, write down your questions, because I feel like it's going to inspire a lot to come out. It's like you need to get it all off your chest. And so do they. To feel better, it's like everything has to be clean and out in the open. Because they made a big mess of things and it's like it's dirty now. So it's like you guys are doing the laundry now. You're getting it all clean. You're going to detoxify the situation is what I'm hearing. So they're coming back around. This person does want to work with you. They do want to build. This person does want to see a future with you. And you will know by their actions 
more than their words and promises, you're focused on their behaviorisms, their mannerisms, how they keep you in the loop, the transparency. When you ask questions, are they answering them? Are they answering them quickly and correctly? Or are they complaining that you're asking too much? If they're complaining, this is a no. That's a problem. If they're not open and real with you, you are cutting them out and good for you. For some of you, you have already done this. This person was like a thief in the night. They would come, they would go. They left you on red. They left you on stuck. You never knew what they were fully doing. That's because they were doing the most in the wrong at that. But a lot of them want to right the wrongs. There, it's never too late to get it right with God. But what people have to learn is to treasure people while they are here and in your life. When someone loves you, they need to show it back. Because if you don't, there is no guarantee that that person will stay in love. There's no guarantee that that person will always be there. Some people bank on, they'll be there. Look how much they care and love me. They do. But if you turn somebody's heart off and they go cold, they can also leave, uproot, move on, and love somebody else even better than they loved you. Especially a person who knows their worth. I'm talking to my emperors and empresses here. The people who know their worth, Virgo, and a lot of you do now, you are not tolerating the same second and third hand um, level of love. It's come correct with respect always, every time. This person cannot cross your boundaries. It's like, for those of you who are giving another chance, it is their last. And you're not playing. For a lot of you, you're not even you're not even tolerating none of it. Good for you. Because that means you have learned a lot of lessons and you're leveling up. Virgo, what's helping you and crossing you? You have perception. So in your eyes, this is in reverse. You don't see this person the same. You see them as what they showed. To be sneaky, lying, conniving, cunning, a trickster, a narcissist, somebody who has a lot of issues and haven't worked on them, you see them as behind, lacking on the low vibration. So if they don't prove otherwise, that's how you will end it and leave it that way. And you have no problem with that because it's like they've had many chances and opportunities and they blew them all out. What they did teach you is to pour back into yourself and love yourself and not tolerate anybody that isn't on your level so although they taught you a hard lesson you're shining beautifully while they're stressing and crying and they're feeling guilty as they should now it's their turn to cry alone at night you know karma pays people a visit all the time put out good karma you'll receive it you put out that negative stuff you're gonna have to live in it it's going to come back. And most of the time, it's worse than what they dished out. It's all in God's and Spirit's divine timing, but they're always working. Okay. The best that you can expect from this situation is service. So a lot of you don't believe this person has changed. A lot of you don't believe they're going to come back and do what's right. They're going to have to show you. They're going to have to show and prove. They're going to have to be there, answer calls, plan dates, be romantic. For some of you, this is a family member that you don't trust. They are going to have to prove... <laughs> Their trust, I'm hearing for some of you, it's going to take a miracle. It might even take a few miracles. They would almost have to save your life or do something so positive for your kids. They're going to have to do something to show that they've changed. For some of you, this is a parent. Some of them have been lying, saying they're going to get off drugs. They're going to stop drinking. They're going to stop lying. They're going to stop playing games and doing negative things and um, staying out late partying. So when you see that they've changed, you'll believe it. But it's going to take work. It's going to take time. It's going to take consistency. And you're not going to keep telling this person. You're done talking. I'm hearing it. No more talking. No more talking. So they're going to have to put in the work. They're going to have to show services is what I'm hearing. It's like you're giving to this no more. Whoever this is. And this could even be a boss too. Um, if you had a question, I'm on number four. And if you need guidance, it is here. Passion. Absolutely. You are being guided to follow your passions and what makes you happy. What turns you on? What gets you motivated? Be driven and don't stop. Keep going. If you have to leave somebody behind, oh well. Wish them well, pray for them and keep it moving. Focus on 
what brings you peace, joy, and happiness. You need a peace of mind after dealing with low vibrational people. They can suck your energy fast and slow, and it's incredibly draining. And Virgo, you are already very clever. You're smart. Use your intelligence. All those ideas that you come up with when you go within, put them into practice. Not all at the same time. Don't overwhelm yourself. One at a time. Write them down. You're going to have to become a writer. Speak your feelings into paper because you, you like to go within. Because your answers are within. You understand that. I love it. Get passionate about everything that you do. Somebody may really love the color orange. I'm seeing orange here a lot. Or they like oranges or tangerines. I'm hearing tangerines. Cuties. Somebody may go get a box of cuties or a bag. They're good for you. Oranges are good for you. That may be significant to um, eat more fruit, be healthier, especially oranges in the month of um, May. <laughs> That's an interesting message. What's next in your future? You have gratitude. Be thankful for all the love that's coming your way. You know, when we lose people because they've chosen to go wrong or they've chosen to act below what you know they could be, they didn't rise up, they, st they stooped down. When they did this, they've only cleared a way for you to let in meaningful relationships. People that do love you and support you. People that call you and care about you. You are needed and love Virgo. Do not ever forget that. God always sends somebody. You never know who really has your back um, because you don't see everything that God sees. So all you see is what's in front of you and around you. But you may not know that somebody's praying for you behind your back. Somebody is wishing the best for you. You do have a friend and a confidant. Somebody does care about you. And don't ever forget that you have a whole team of ancestors, angels, guides. God, number one. Jesus, number two. You have a whole spiritual team that got you. Be thankful for everything that you have. Look around. Be thankful for the good heart and soul that you are. Because what you did was manifest blessings and miracles to come your way. Be thankful for all the things that are to come. Some of you will be blessed with a new idea that's going to be life-changing for you. Some of you will be blessed with a new baby that's going to give you so much love, joy, and inspiration. Focus on your creativity and keep growing. In the past or fear, Virgo, you have self-worth. Yes, yeah, some of you did not know what that was. It took a lot of negative people, and that's why these karmics are here. Because they either make or break you, depending on what you allow. So make sure that you focus on who you are at the core, at your center. Don't let people get in your head and confuse you about your worth. Now that you know you are strong, you are courageous, you are intelligent, you are smart, you are caring, you are loving, and you deserve that type of energy back. Only that type of energy back. You deserve what you put out there. And remember, if you were the one on the flip side on that low vibration, it is never too late to change. No, people don't have to accept your change. But when you do it for yourself and for God, he will send blessings for you getting it right. You are worth it. You are enough. You have a path. You have a purpose. You have a life. You have a light inside of you that leads to God and spirit. Sometimes that light goes dim, but it does not go out. Follow it. How you see yourself or the action you could take guided by spirit is quest. A lot of you may not have a lot of guidance and direction at this time. I hope these messages will help you. Go to God and ask about your life purpose. Go to your team and ask for help. Go to your angels, especially Archangel Gabrielle. She's going to open those gifts for you. You're ready. Don't doubt yourself or your abilities. Even if you don't have the education, go back and get it. If you feel like you need it, go get it. A lot of things are free. Believe it or not. We all know the best things in life are free. Love, family, spirit. Happiness starts with you. You have to choose it. Virgo, what's happening in your environment with family, friends, and people around you? You have impartiality. 
So some things that weren't fair to you is about to become more fair. You're about to receive balance. Because you're not going to give more anymore. You've learned to give what people give you. Sometimes you have to love people from afar. Sometimes you have to give people their space. Sometimes they need to give you yours. You're learning to balance your life better. This is good. Well, yeah, it's like spirit's going to balance things out for you. But you're also putting in the work too. Hopes and or fears, perseverance. A lot of you truly have given up and you don't think you can make it. Yes, you can. And it's not how many times you fall. It's how many times you stand up and rise. It doesn't matter if every door closes on you. God will open up another avenue, another way, another window, another street, another opportunity. Keep trying. Keep going until you get that one yes, because that's the one that matters the most. You will overcome and persevere. Believe it. Outcome, because you're destined to. This is your destiny to find your right path. The only way is through God. Yes, there will be some trials and errors, but when you listen to spirit, the path becomes clear and easier to navigate and see. You will get it right. I believe that. And you will be happier, healthier, farther, prosperous, emotionally fulfilled, and financially fulfilled when you follow God's way. That is the right way, period. Okay. As I close this reading, I will get an overall message from the Earth Magic deck. Please, Spirit, come through as you always do. Know that all the cards are always meditated on uh -oh, and prayed upon before I do any of these readings. So it's always shocking for me when I see cards come out that came out in other readings because I have meditated and meditated and Shuffled and shuffled and cleansed and reshuffled and shuffled again. And it still comes out that way. We're all connected. We're all human. Okay. Spirit, please come through as you always do for the zodiac sign of Virgo for the month of May 2021 for Virgo. What's the overall message for Virgo? What do they need to know? For Virgo. Okay. Love it. Flew right out. At the bottom of the deck, you guys have Dragonfly Emergence. I don't know. It came out for somebody else too. You are coming up and you have celebration dance. God is going to give you a reason to get up and get jiggy with it. You are going to celebrate. You are going to feel so happy and elated. Something wonderful is coming in because you have clarity now. You got the information that you need. You're opening up that third eye chakra. You're paying attention to signs, um, omens, synchronicities, synchronicities. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But you're paying attention to numbers. You're paying attention to everything that you need to you are level headed and i love when i see dragonfly emergence because this is good luck is on your side blessings are coming in and you deserve it you definitely deserve to celebrate something a lot of you have gotten a lot of wisdom and clarity from your elders or by breaking cycles by watching people do things right and wrong you're taking the good now you're learning you're elevating you are spiritually developing like you are supposed to. So get ready to celebrate something great. Somebody could be celebrating you. But get ready for something great. You deserve it. And this makes me really happy. This is an awesome ending. And I wish you guys so much blessings, joy, infinite abundance and happiness and all the goodness that's coming your way. I hope these messages correlate. I can't talk right now for some reason. I hope these messages correlate and resonate with all of you or as many of you as possible. I think I'm just so happy for you because, you know, I, I know what it's like to go through a lot of challenges and obstacles and sometimes not know how you're going to pull through it. But when you go to go through God and to God, you will pull through. You know, when it rains, it pours sometimes. But you know what? At some point it stops raining and that sun comes out. You're going to celebrate happiness. Is coming your way. Joy is coming your way. Keep hope alive. Keep on it. Keep at it. Don't give up and stay inspired, Virgo. God bless you all. Bye, Virgo.